good morning guys it is friday i basically went to edit my malta vlog which i feel like i filmed so so much when i was there and then i looked at the footage and it is literally like five minutes long i don't know what i thought i was filming or if i was just having such a good time and flinging my camera around and getting crap footage which could not be used i had such a good time there it's obviously memories and that's like one of the main reasons that i do youtube is to like capture all of the lovely moments that i have and then share them obviously with you guys but also for me to be able to look back on them is really really special so long story short i was maybe not gonna upload it but i thought i may as well just do another vlog and then just include the footage in it my camera is already flashing red which is not a great start to a vlog but yeah i'm gonna quickly insert the footage here from malta it was obviously it was september that i went so it was almost two months ago which is really really bad that it's taken me this long to edit five minutes of footage but yeah i'm gonna include that for you guys now and you can enjoy watching that and then we will just have a nice little catch up and a cozy weekend together it's a horrible animal. hello everybody <laughs> what do you want us to say <laughs> guys on charge while I start work um, but I have got a real thing at the moment with boiled eggs so that's what I'm currently making for my breakfast. I am going to be working from home today and this evening Annabelle and I are getting our nails done so I've got the French tip. I think I got them done in the last vlog actually um, potentially so yeah I'm probably going to get a nude or a French tip again but I think I'm going to change the shape of my nails to almond. I spent too much brain space and time thinking about whether I should change the shape of my nails or not but I'm just going to do it and then regret it afterwards so you guys can tell me what you think suits me better um but yeah that's the plan for today super chilled weekend again it's bonfire night tomorrow so we are going to go to the fireworks so i will try and film some bits of that probably but yeah let's just see where this vlog takes us i'm gonna go and put you guys on charge so i can actually film the vlog yeah i feel like i didn't really touch on malta but it was such a lovely trip it was just me my sister um my sister's girlfriend laura and my mum, which was really really lovely i feel like it needs to be a tradition now that every time I go away with the girls that they start the vlog off because they did that in Bali as well and it just makes me absolutely die um, watching them with the camera. I had to cut out like five minutes of footage of them trying to turn it on and get the angle right and then trying to turn it off again. I'm really 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 trying to hold on to any sort of natural tan that I've got but I feel like fake tan season is fast approaching. Any fake tan recommendations actually that you guys can leave below then please do. I use the Tanologist face drops but for my body I feel like I really like flip between a few different ones and I'm completely out at the moment. I need to buy a completely new fake tan for this year so yeah do let me know your recommendations. <laughs> Fi 
few hours later, I thought I would just show you my comfy working from home outfit. So this jumper is H&M. It's actually a little bit like crush looking. I need to get that sorted. Um, but yeah, I've just got this on with my favourite joggers ever. I've never known how to pronounce this brand but it's from Urban Outfitters. I've literally had these for years and they are the only grey joggers that I absolutely love. Sorry they're like halfway up my leg. Um oh, the dog sneezing. Um but yeah so if anybody knows any high street brands if it's like pretty little thing um H&M that kind of stuff that have joggers that are this kind of fit like baggy on the thighs and then go in at the ankle, then please do let me know because I've worn these to absolute death and I just need to get some more that have this fit, but I don't really want any branding on them. I've just got my little slippers on from Shein, which I desperately need a new pair of because whenever Enzo is being naughty, I give them to him to chew, which is really, really bad and I shouldn't really encourage that habit. But sometimes I just need to get him out of my hair. Really disheveled and tired today, so sorry about that. I've just added I've just put some eye drops in because my eyes are absolutely killing me this week and they're so, so bloodshot. So I might actually need to pop out at some point and get some eardrop, eardrops? And get some eye drops because they're really, really sore. I don't know how much the camera's picking it up. It's such a lovely day today. It has been so stormy the last few days, as I mentioned earlier. I always talk about the weather on my vlog, so I'm really sorry, it's super boring. Um, but today it is bright, bright sunshine. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take Enzo out on a little walk and get some steps in. I've started using my Fitbit again. So Jordan's dad got me this. The Fitbit Versa 3, I think. It's all of these straps from Amazon or something like that. They're used to having like a bracelet style watch. But I just feel like this makes me look like I'm gonna go and run like a marathon. I really need some recommendations of bracelet style um, Versa 3 straps. I had a little look before. I remember I ordered one. I'd love a jewel toned one if possible, so silver and gold. Um, and I remember I ordered one probably about a year ago when I first got this and started trying to use it. It just was like digging into my wrist. You know the bit that flips over underneath? This is not making any sense at all, but hopefully to somebody it might. It was like digging into my wrist and I could hardly bend because it was just like a solid bit of metal under my wrist. Long story short, if anybody knows somewhere that I can get Versa 3 Fitbit straps, which look a little bit nicer than just these like rubbery ones. I do have a white one as well, but it's just not, it's just not that pretty. Um, then please do let me know in the comments below because I am trying to use it a little bit more. I've been using it for when I've been going to the gym and logging my workouts. I also really like it for my alarm because it wakes me up in the morning by just like vibrating on my wrist. It's not that like horrible, horrible iPhone um, alarm. So yeah, I've been really enjoying using it, but I'm just not loving the way it looks. I've got like the gold one, which is really, really pretty, but yeah, the strap is just not doing anything for me. I'm gonna go and make some lunch, I think, and then take Enzo out on a walk while it's my lunch break. Work's actually been so, so busy this week. I don't think that's really helping with the red eye situation because I am literally staring at a screen at 24 seven, like in full concentration. Um, so yeah, I need to go and have a bit of a screen break on my lunch and, oh my God, Enzo is doing the funniest thing right now. Let me see if I can show you guys. What are you doing, sir? Are you enjoying the sun? You're loving it, aren't you? I think that's a hint that he wants to go outside in the sunshine too. Saturday, I have just got up and washed my hair. I love washing my hair and putting all the oils and it just feels so lovely and soft. I feel like I only wash my hair like once a week now, which is kind of gross, but also I'm kind of here for it. I'm looking a little bit rosy because I feel like I'm getting a cold, but hopefully that's gonna stay off. I actually went for it and I changed the shape to almond. Obviously I can go back really not the biggest decision that I had to make ever but I actually really really like it so we did that and then it just went back to Annabelle's and had dinner which was really lovely I've got a newborn I don't actually know I guess she's a newborn she's like seven eight weeks um sorry it's the wind um yeah she's like seven eight weeks so I got to join in with bath time and everything like that which was super wholesome and nice and then we just got a takeaway um, so that was last night and then this morning I'm just waiting for my dad to pick me up I was actually going to drive to his but 
he just sent me a text and said he'll pick me up, which is a godsend because the weather, I know I said I'm not going to talk about the weather the whole time on this vlog, but it's just never ending. It is raining so, so much and my car is so like a little go-kart. I just don't trust myself driving in this weather to be perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, he's going to pick me up. We're going to go and find somewhere to grab a coffee and I am craving a croissant. And then I think I'm actually going to meet my mum later as well. We don't really know what to do. We were going to go to the cinema because the weather's crap, but there's nothing really good on at the moment. Let me know if you guys have seen anything good at the cinema because there is nothing more that I love than an autumnal evening going to the cinema. The one near us has a Starbucks. Oh, it's actually not the closest one to us, but the biggest one near us has a Starbucks. So going and getting like a pumpkin spice latte, which I've not actually had this season yet. So I need to go and get one of those, but yeah. Anyway, there's nothing that I love more than going to the cinema and getting pumpkin spice latte and sitting and watching a film. If I put a film on the TV, I just sit there and scroll and go on TikTok and go on Pinterest and go on Instagram and then I just never end up knowing what the film's about or I fall asleep. So yeah, I wish we could go to the cinema. There's nothing decent on. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do. And then later, it is bonfire night. So... We're gonna go down to that. I don't know if we're actually gonna go down to the bonfire and the firework because as I've mentioned, the weather's rubbish. We might just go to my friend's house and have dinner and drinks and stuff there. Just gonna go and get my coat on. I've literally got the biggest, puffiest, to the floor um, jacket. So I'm gonna put that on because that's really waterproof. I'm trying to film somewhere different so I'm not just in the same place in the kitchen every time I pick up the camera, but the lighting, in the winter here is shocking. Got ready to go out for the evening, not that you can see my outfit like this at all. Um, I actually bought this jumper when I was out in town earlier from H&M. It's like an off the shoulder kind of vibe. You can't really tell because I'm holding my arm up. Um, but yeah, I just did my hair and my makeup. I kind of gave my hair like a bit of a rough wave. Like I don't really know what I did, I'm not gonna lie, but kind of loving it. I literally got a clip of my pastry and that was everything that I filmed because Every time I was outside, I was just getting absolutely drenched. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you my outfit before we leave. And then I'll probably wrap up this vlog and get it up for you guys. Because I'm fully aware that Malta, which is the beginning of this vlog, was months ago now. So this is the jumper. It's just a really, really nice black knit that's off the shoulder. They also had it in grey and like a really nice cream. But I think the black I will get the most wear out of. I like how the sleeves go a little bit wider and then you can't really tell because i've got that behind me but it's just a really nice flattering shape it's quite long um but i've just got it on with my black suit trousers i've got my little ugg dupes on but i'm going to be barefoot all night anyway because we'll be in the house um but yeah this is the look for bonfire night i am going to take my wellies with me and a jacket just just in case everyone does want to go down there and then I'm just fully not dressed properly. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.